All the things we heard about in this module take an emotional toll on employees, both at work and at home. They get stressed, disappointed, and frustrated, but they have found ways to take care of themselves and remain committed to their work. That the Border Patrol called and said, we see a white vehicle out there and it looks good for something. And they were on their <laughs> One way we deal with the stress here is, is just by continually sharing the stories of what people are dealing with and, and talking to each other about how to deal with those things. We have fitness equipment so that people can maintain a fitness program. We do a lot of celebrations where we have celebrations for benchmarks that we've hit, like the building of a vehicle barrier fence, the completion of that. We had a big celebration, um, luncheon, to celebrate those kinds of things that are directly related to the border, but they're big projects that everybody's contributed towards. And I, that's, that's really what we're finding is the important part of appreciating each other and awarding each other for the hard work that everybody's doing, understanding that it's under extremely stressful situations. And then the EAP program, the Employee Assistance Program, is always available. And that's always suggested to employees, too, in terms of taking advantage of that, which can be a, a real help for employees that need to discuss their emotional response to the situation. We're a very typical ranger district. It is kind of a family-oriented thing, and I think people talking about some of the instances that they see out there and you know some of the stressors and so forth. And so I think a lot of communication back and forth and just comparing notes and keeping people aware of the environment is a good thing to relieve stress because communication is a real good way of reducing it. If you're talking about it with somebody that lives in the same kind of environment you do, they're going to understand you. And if you talk to, to somebody that has never been in that kind of environment, you know, they're either not going to believe you or they won't know how to relate to it. I've had really good support with my supervisor um, because she had worked in the field for a couple of years before I got here. So she's really good about asking us how we're doing, if everything's okay. Um, I have a really good support network of friends and family um, that I can talk to about anything that happens. I was fascinated by this migration of humans and willing to risk everything, everything that you could possibly have to come here. And so I think through my own kind of studies and investigations and reading, that's kind of helped me to understand it. Despite all the problems employees face along the border, they still find their jobs meaningful. It's disheartening. To, to say the least, because uh, the employees are dedicated. It isn't a job, it's a profession. For many, it's a calling. So it, it's pretty distressing to see the damage. It impacts our ability to uh, manage the area, uh, to protect the area. So it, it's extremely disheartening. But rather than look at it as the glass half empty, well, it's half full, at least we're here. At least we can have a positive influence. At least we can work with Homeland Security and Border Patrol and try and minimize the damage and then hopefully eventually put the patient back together again. Personally, I believe in the wildlife refuge system and protecting our public lands and our habitat for wildlife. And um, if we were to just throw up our arms and leave this area and let Border Patrol or immigrants take it over, it would be in much worse shape. So I believe we're playing a very important role in maintaining and managing these lands for wildlife and keeping it in the best condition that we can. First and foremost, I love the land. I love it here. I love being outside. I grew up on the country, and so for me, this is my respite from being surrounded by people in buildings and asphalt and concrete. And I think it's totally necessary to human health to be outside and to be surrounded by nature. I get to come out and work in a beautiful place every day and learn more about the, the interrelationships between the plants and the animals and the soil and, and those kinds of things make me excited to be here and to learn about that and share that with other people. I love working with kids and showing them, um, helping them to learn more about their environment. And so my favorite, my favorite part of this job is, is the class groups. Being able to, you know, I guess share my love of this place and, and all of the amazing mysteries and questions and beauty that it has to offer is totally worth it. In this module, 
You heard how employees maintain their personal safety while working near the border, despite the prevalence of drug smuggling and illegal immigration. Working near the border can be a difficult and disheartening place for employees who serve the public and are dedicated to the land. However, one of the most important messages you can take away from this module is that you can maintain your safety near the border while still enjoying your job and the beauty of where you work.